Hey, I got a quick tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to get a Vector 2 off the touchpad of your Vive remote in Unity using Playmaker and this asset, the Steam VR Playmaker Toolkit. The way you wanna look at it is that this is a Vector 2. You have your up and down and left and right. So it's very simple conceptually. We're just gonna learn how to get that information. So you're gonna to wanna to start off by going to Window and then Steam VR Input. The first thing we're gonna do in the Steam VR input is add a action to this actions list by hitting this plus button. An action is sort of like the type of information that you're giving the controller for it to look out for. So in this one, we're gonna call it touchpad. And then down here where it says type, we don't want it to be a Boolean because it's not just a true or false statement. What we want is a vector two. Because remember, there are two axes here. This is basically a vector two. So we're gonna click vector two. Once that's done, you can hit save and generate. Now up here it says compiling. You have to wait for this thing. I know it's like tucked away in the corner right here, but you need to wait for it to finish compiling. Uh, yeah, go ahead and click save. There have been times in the past where, I don't know if it was a bug or something, maybe I closed the window too early, but it didn't actually finish compiling, and that could be a problem. We're gonna hit open binding UI. So when you get this window, you should have this current binding Vive controller with an edit button. If you don't, that means you haven't bound a controller yet. So we're just gonna click edit. And inside here, you can see where all of these buttons are mapped to. When you hover your mouse over them, they have this little line that goes over and shows you what the button that they control is. So automatically, Steam already sets up a few of these parameters. For the prefabs that they give you, we're teleporting and sort of setting up the controllers in really general ways. You can delete these, you can add your own, you can change their parameters. But since right now, we only wanna get the information off the touchpad, we're gonna go down here to trackpad. So right now you can see it's currently being used as a D-pad, which means that you're gonna have to like click this thing. We don't want that, we want the touch sensor. So we're going to go ahead and click this little plus button right here. And what that's going to bring up is all of our options for what we could do with this part of the controller. In here, we're going to click trackpad. And now we have a trackpad component in here. You can hover your mouse over each of these to see what they do. It gives you a little description here. This last one, position, is the one we want because it's getting the position you are touching on a touchpad or the position you've pushed a joystick to. So we're going to hit this little none button. And now we have touchpad. This is the action that we entered in that previous input menu. So we're gonna go ahead and click that one. And now that's mapped to our touchpad. So we can hit this little check mark to confirm all of that. And before you leave, you want to hit this, replace default binding. Then we can go ahead and close this window. The next thing we're gonna do is reference this action in Playmaker. Now, Playmaker is gonna ask for this name and it needs it to be spelled specifically. So just know that it does need to be entered exactly. It's safe to copy it, but you can type it in. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna put an FSM in this sphere. So now in this FSM, you can go to Steam VR and Steam VR 2.0. What we wanna get is in Steam VR 2.0 where the get action vector two is. We're gonna drag that in, device any, you could switch whatever. Um, and then the vector two action, remember, I'm just gonna paste that in, that was touchpad, right? Hit enter. The vector two type is gonna be get axis. And, um, and then we're gonna store the result as a new variable and we're gonna call it touchpad uh, vector two. If I turn my controller on, hit run, you'll see down here that as I move my finger across this, it changes the vector two values. And now you can use that vector two value to do whatever you want and you'll notice that the values go between zero and one and negative one. All right, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, what we learned in here, hopefully you can see how it's applicable to the other bindings of the controller. But um, if you wanna know how to do anything else, let me know in the comments and maybe I can help you with that.